Меня зовут Майбек Тайсумо, родом сам из Чечни, представляю австрийский клуб «Сити Тонг». Я готов на все сто процентов к этому бою и надеюсь только на победу. Иншаллах. Today I will fight my fight, put on a show here for the fans in Russia. Welcome to the blue corner, Josh Thorpe. All the way from Mobile, Josh Alabama, a long Rocky way from home, Josh Thorpe brings his 11 record with six losses, 11 wins with six losses to Moscow here to entertain the people, part of the Port City MMA Club back in Mobile, Alabama. And boy, that's got to be a heck of a feeling for here, Jeremy, for him to be here in Moscow and seeing this mega, mega event. I mean, you got to have the adrenaline flow like never before. Absolutely, that's uh, it's always a, an amazing experience to be able to go all the way across the world to fight. He's coming off a win against Scott McAfee. McAfee with a 10 and 5 record, a majority decision after three rounds. And then he had a loss before that, and that was against Yasne Enimoto. And that was a submission TKO punches. So he's had four fights in 2011 and six fights in 2010 seven in 2009 now that particular pace of that many fights for you that's not enough because you fight a lot more than that right jeremy I, i've had a couple of years where i had more than that but that's that's a pretty busy schedule now so it's an opportunity for josh Stoltz to get tremendous experience at the age of 26 and you see he is a fighter very entertaining fighter wins most of his fights by decisions. He has three TKO wins though. When he does get beat, it's been by submission three times and three times by decisions. But a very pleasant young man, a student of this sport, had a chance to do some boxing, but instead said, I love the MMA and this is where I want to be. And that's what's happened to a lot of young men around Welcome all over the, the United States corner, now to take part of this great Marbeck, sport, Tyson MMA. Mom. I'm like chip ups, man. I got this young. Record of 15 wins, three losses. He's had quite a year in 2011, winning both of his fights, and they've been spread out over three and four and a half months apart. Wins over Josh Balayayo and also Yuri Evlev. And the Yuri Evlev fight was quite an upset. Yep. Yuri Evlev, very highly experienced, 17 wins, seven losses, and he ended up getting the TKO win in the second round, one minute 35 seconds. He is now 15 and 3, 24 years of age, is Tayusimov from Austria, living in Austria. Josh Short, 26 years of age. And now let's get the official introduction by Mike Martin. The Barton. following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the M1 Global Lightweight Division. Introducing first, the man standing to my left and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 171 centimeters, 5 feet 7 inches tall. His official weight, 70.5 kilograms and even 155 pounds. His record, 14 victories opposite 6 defeats. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, Josh the Pitbull Thor.
His opponent stands across the ring to my right and fights out of the red corner. He stands 175 centimeters, 5 feet 8 inches tall. His official weight 70.3 kilograms, an even 155 pounds. His record 15 victories, opposite 3 defeats. Joining us from the beautiful nation of Austria, Marbeck Tysimov. Your referee, Marco Brewer's son. Three rounds, five minutes. You both know the rules. Listen to my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Mind to head, mind to grow. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. The final instructions there by referee Marco Brodson, and we are ready. Josh Thorpe, Marbeck Tusimov from Vienna, Austria. Tusimov in the black trunks, but he has got the white belt. Thorpe in the black trunks, but he has got the lime green belt. Eight TKO wins for Marbek Tusimov, six submissions. So he is a big puncher. So we'll see right off the bat what Thorpe can do to avoid the heavy hands of Tusimov. And they're starting out with their kicking right off the bat. Thorpe, the southpaw. And that's one of the things that happens quite often, Jeremy, with these fighters have to move around to go ahead and get to where they feel they're going to get the best training. Thorpe out of Mobile, Alabama, now fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, you get a lot of guys that switch camp periodically just to get a different look and different training partners. Thorpe, the way he holds his hand out, trying to go ahead and hit the quad area of Tuisimov. That's a good area. That's that soft area right there. And if it's not flexed, he could leave a nice hematoma right there. Good kick. And he caught it. Thorpe catching it. Almost caught the chin of Thorpe. And Myrick doing a good job being real aggressive with his stand-up, making it real hard for Josh to take him down. But gets a takedown of his own. Josh managed to get right back to his feet. Good technique right there by Tuzuma, fighting the right leg and sweeping the leg of Thorpe. You can see the great upper body strength of Tuzuma. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's overpowering Josh a little bit with some of that clinch work. Josh evened up a little bit. Nice lateral drop there from Josh. And everybody's able to get right back to his feet as well. What I love is in that clinch right there, Jeremy, is for them to use the knee and hit right outside that quad area. Soften that area up a little bit. Yeah, those are the kind of things they're going to do damage later on in the fight. You find your leg cramping up a little bit, not able to move around as well as you want to. What I've always said, from the waist above is cosmetic, from the waist below, that's a franchise. You don't want to injure the franchise. Good sweeping kick right there by Thorpe, but then Toysima, great defense for that. Yeah, both guys working on throwing that spinning back kick to the body. It's a, it can be a devastating shot if it lands properly. Well, you can tell both of these guys very athletic, very athletic. And thus all the kicking, all the different movements. And as the great Bruce Lee said, the, great, the key to a great, great fighter is not to be tied to a style, but use whatever it is that works. And it could be anything. Yeah, we were talking a little bit about that earlier on in the evening. Uh, in MMA, it's hard to label one fighter anymore as just a boxer or just a grappler. Everybody now is trying to be as well-rounded as they can be, because that's what you need to do to be successful in the sport. And now, that's why you see guys having three or four different coaches, because everybody teaches a little something, and they're able to take from that to implement into their arsenal. Thorpe at the southpaw. Showing some pretty quick hands, but just not being very tentative out of the tremendous respect he's got for Tuisimov. Great defense right there by Tuisimov to avoid the takedown by Thorpe. Oh, Great takedown of his own. Got a good front headlock and he's working it well. Josh is doing a good job defending those knees. Tuisimov now. To that neck area. Looking for a takedown a couple times early. Josh did a great job holding his balance and staying up. Now he gets into the ground, going right after that neck. And that's right away. Get up. 
Tracy might have had success in the takedown by using the leg. It was that leg sweep. Now he's trying to go ahead and slide his leg underneath, and he's done it. So he's in a good position right here. Dangerous position now for Thor. Well, he's got both hooks and he's trying to break them down flat, but Josh is doing a great job of staying up on his base and not letting Maribek get under his chin too much. So he's got to be careful because Maribek's taking for it real hard. Referee Marco Brosen right underneath there, observing very closely. Not a good position right here for Thorpe. Yeah, he's got to move. He's got to try to try to improve his position a little bit. He's not getting hurt much from here, but uh, he's definitely going to be uh, losing a round if it stays this way. Kushimov, on the other hand, trying to find the angle by which to go ahead and land his shot. Working on that neck. Yeah, he had a forearm under his neck for a second. Ten ten seconds. Seconds. Good job of dislodging it. And then they make the announcement the final 10 seconds of the round. So Thorpe surviving this, but he's not going to win the round. Round of order. Who do you score for? Uh, you know, that was a pretty even round. It's hard to give that to anybody. Josh was really relaxed. It's like that pace didn't bother him at all. He's not even bothered to sit down in the corner. Yeah, I'm going to go with Tushina. Push him up for that first, and there he is. There is Vladimir Putin, the two-term president, for a second Russian Federation. He is now the Prime Minister of Russia, Chairman of the United Russia, and Chairman of the Council of Ministries of the Union of Russia and Belarus. And a huge fan of the fight. And then you see some of the action right there, round number one. Getting the leg, that's that, that's that sweep for the... Actually missed on that one. That's not the one that he actually got, Jeremy. Yeah, he missed that one, and uh, Josh did a great job of countering that. Second time. And getting back to Vladimir Putin again. He is a sambo and judo expert. Sixth degree, red-white belt in judo. Round number two of a scheduled three-rounder. Your combatants in the ring, they are Josh Thorpe in the black with the lime green belt. He is taking on Marbek Tusimov in the black and the white trunks. First round I gave to Tusimov. How'd you score, Jeremy? Yeah, I, I think I could agree with that. It was a really close round, but uh, he was close enough to really get the ball. Come on. Tusimov has just demonstrated tremendous upper body strength. He's also very adept. And I can see if Josh Thorpe can switch it around now. Another great lateral there, and both guys scramble back to their feet. Two very athletic guys. Tremendous awareness there in the ring, and again, understanding leverage so very, very well. That's the move that has worked for Tysumov in order to get down Thorpe, is to be in that position right there, and then sweep the leg and take down Thorpe. Knee to the leg. Tysumov was using the knee really well in this position, now has not done so. Yeah, it's a little harder when uh, Josh had both underhooks. Uh, Tysumov's got to be a little more careful about takedowns, got to be a little more defensive in that position. Back to the center of the ring. Backhand at all. Josh Thorpe trying to land. Switching back and forth from that southpaw stance. And Jeremy, I don't always like that because I think it slows down a fighter. If you're not a natural southpaw and you're trying to go from that southpaw stance. Yeah, it certainly can. Now, some people do well at it. Some people are just uh, very natural and very athletic and they can uh, recover on either side. But uh, I tend to agree. I think people do better when they pick one stance and stick with it, at least until they're familiar enough with it. Both these guys taking turns throwing big bombs at each other, alternating with some big bombs. But both very good with their defense. Tremendous defense by both. And you see now Thor with the mouth open. Sign of a fatiguing fighter. It can be. A lot of fighters, uh, you know, you get to train in so much in the gym, you kind of forget that this is a fight and you're going to be getting punched hard, so you got to keep that mouth shut. Action, come on! And this is a crowd that's just waiting to erupt. When landing on the nose of Tyson Bob was Thorpe with that shot. Yeah, Josh is throwing a little bit faster and a little bit straighter, but uh, Tyson Bob's definitely throwing with, with more power. It's hard to tell which one is quicker because Thorpe has tremendously quick, quick hands. Toysimov has the heavy, heavy hands. Simultaneous right there, contact by both landing those shots. So let's see if Thorpe can maneuver around. He's trying to sometimes too what they do, they switch the southpaw to confuse the opponent. 
Yeah, that doesn't always work if you have uh, an opponent that's used to, to training and fighting with southpaws. All that does is give them a little more opportunities because you're going to be as uncomfortable in that southpaw stance as they are fighting. Thorpe appears to be getting a little bit more cautious now. Daring to do more different things now. Trying to establish... A good move right there by Dajima. He went up top and they came down. That's it. Good move right there, Jerry, with that face. Going up top and then coming down. Yeah, I don't know how much of a pain it was with Tua. He pushed him with that right hand and then got that takedown. He was able to capitalize on him. Which he got a knockout. Samad back to Samad. Surprising Josh Thorpe. And there he is. Vladimir Putin. His patented move for Putin is that sweeping hip throw. Harai Koshi is called. Have you ever done that? Uh, you know, I, you know, I trained with a handful of judo players and some of players in the past, but uh, not, not traditionally. Well, let's see if we can get the, the Prime Minister here to teach you that move. So you can use that in your fight on Wednesday night. What do you think? I would be honored. <laughs> and this is Josh Thorpe. Just stunned with that shot. And again, I thought he was it was a feint, but he actually landed that shot. Yeah, it looked to me like he clipped him a little bit. Uh, Josh kind of turned away a little bit and gave up that double leg. And this is a heavy-handed guy. Very heavy-handed guy, Jeremy. You yeah. can tell that right off the bat. Definitely. From the beginning of the fight, he was just throwing heaters all night. Tonight, fight of the legend. Again, our main event. Fader, the last emperor, Mel Mel Melanenko, taking on Jeff the Snowman Monson, M1 Global presenting this in association with Integrated Sports. Now let's get the official decision from Mike Markham. This bout comes to an end at three minutes, 15 seconds of the second round. Your winner by knockout in the red corner, Marbeck Taisumov. Marbeck Taisumov, Austria. And there you have the time, 3 minutes, 15 seconds, Meyerbeck to Usumov getting a very impressive win. And let's go from the top. The man from Mobile, Alabama, Josh Thorpe, taking on Meyerbeck to Usumov. Coming in from Vienna, Austria, and from the very beginning, Thorpe demonstrated tremendous power in those hands. Oh yeah, Tysonov did a great job throwing big bombs on those kicks, and Thorpe tried to catch one. He got slung into the ropes for his troubles. There's an attempt to take down by Tysonov, countered with a lateral drop by Thorpe, and they both took turns throwing those spinning back kicks. And it seemed like in that second round, all of a sudden Thorpe started to get more and more comfortable, was more daring with some of his moves, and finally Tysonov had to come up with something. Yeah, that's pretty common. You know, the first fight, the first round of a fight, you're always a little anxious. Uh, once you get get into your rhythm a little bit, it's a little easier to open up and relax a little bit. And there's the right hand. And that's the one that I thought was just a faint move. But as it was, it landed. That right, straight right. Yeah, hurt, hurt him enough to, to stun him a little bit and allow uh, Tyson off to get the double leg and then land a couple of shots to finish it. And then right on top of him, Here's where he takes him down. And all those shots right there, raining down on Thorpe and landing right there, Jeremy. Definitely, uh, it's gonna be real hard to take three or four big right hands like that in a row and recover. So the 24-year-old from Vienna, Austria, Marbeck Dusimov now goes to 16 and three.